I hope you're hearing me good. Hi, everybody. This is Deborah Dixon Anderson from Vitacold PR, and I'm on today um, talking about customer experience between uh, Vitacold PR and Juan Pedroza of Money Man Business Solutions. Hey, Juan, how are you? Hey, Deborah. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Yes, glad to have you. Glad to have you. And so, um, I'm just going to ask Juan to share with him a little bit about his business, what he does, and uh, and tell us a little bit about uh, how long he's been in business, all that good stuff. Okay, I mean, um, so the Money Man Business Solutions has been around for about 11 years. Uh, we help clients working mainly with solopreneurs, individual business owners, uh, with their bookkeeping, uh, tax preparation, that uh, tax preparation per, like it pertains to individual, uh, business, sales tax, payroll tax, all that kind of stuff. We also do their payroll. Um, and then we do a couple other additional financial services like uh, credit education, budgeting and forecasting, things like that to help out. Okay, that's great. Okay, so Juan, it's good stuff. So what, what do you think your specialty is? What's your specialty? Well, um, I also have, I also work uh, on the immigration side as well. Mm -hmm. um, I assist people with, you know, filling out applications for petitions, uh, citizenships. I actually have uh, a free course that I help out with people that are applying for their citizenship to help them, you know, learn the questions, feel comfortable in the, for the interview process with, a, with an immigration agent, things mm -hmm. like that, uh, with visas, Employment authorization cards, many, many of those, many of those kind of clients they work with as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, would you say that you um, uh, do a lot of work with solopreneurs or do you work with companies or, or kind of both? I work with both, but mainly solopreneurs. The individual business owner mm -hmm. is the type of person that, you know, wears all hats. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, you know, it's only 24 hours in the day. So, that's right. so that's right. everything needs to be done. So, you know, what I specialize in is helping them out, save time, mm -hmm. so they can take that time and focus on what they really enjoy to do. Because, mm -hmm. you know, unless you're an accountant, mm -hmm. you don't get into business to, to keep books or pay taxes or anything like that. Right, that's right. Where I come in, and then unfortunately, it's, it's, a, it's a necessary evil in it the is. business. And, um, you know, that's where I come in and help them out, save that time. And saving money because you know you don't know what you don't know. So right, that's I, true. I know to help them save money on taxes mm -hmm. and save time so they can do what you know what they actually enjoy doing. What they yeah, want to do. What they do best, right? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So uh, Juan and I started working together a couple of months ago, and so uh, we actually helped him with his social media, digital, and and um, you know everything by connecting his digital presence with his business so that's really important so one how do you feel uh about like the services that we've been able to provide for you you know as far as systems and all that kind of stuff well there's many things i love about it uh first thing is the communication mm -hmm. great uh mm -hmm. you know every week you know mm -hmm. following up talking about new ideas going forward i love the way how, how you guys are forward thinking always thinking about already the next couple of weeks what can we do? Uh, things like that, which is tough for a business owner sometimes because you're so focused on the right now, yeah. the next day. You know, it's hard to look past the next day. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so you know, having having a you know marketing firm like you guys, looking forward. Okay, you know, we got the holidays coming up. It's about mm -hmm. you know at least ten days away. Right. Having that you know that refresher. Somebody always saying, okay, you have any ideas on for Christmas and things like right. that, and the input, you know your experience in those types of, you know, that setting of marketing for holidays for particular, mm -hmm. um, you know, time periods. Right. That's huge. I mean, for example, the, you know, I was very impressed when you told me about Black Friday. Right. I was not thinking about, you even think about not my services mm -hmm. for something like Black Friday. You're always thinking about retail. Right. 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 The fact that, you know, I found that very impressive. You, you know, you put that thought in my mind mm -hmm. to promote, you know, for that time and then for Christmas and things like mm -hmm. that. So right. I mean, those are, those are things that, you know, are, are you know, they're priceless, priceless. Yeah, yeah, thank you. 
Well, we feel like with Might of Gold PR, with, with the marketing perspective, it's just the systems and processes are like so critical. It's like marketing means kind of stepping back, you know, and looking at your overall, okay, who's your target market? How are we going to get to them? What are we going to say to them? Um, but, but the thing that's so funny, even about what you said with the uh, Black Friday, is most companies, of course, they think retail, but think about how that is trending, you know, right. just after Thanksgiving, why not be part of that traffic, right? It doesn't matter what services you provide, same thing with Cyber Monday, it's trending. So it's like, go ahead and create something for it, just create it, you know? And I think that was good that we were able to, you know, help you see that and work on that for yeah, you. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's really good. So I think it's important, like just looking at the systems, the processes, you know, that weekly push, you know, it's just like you just have to consistently do it. And then the other big piece of it is integrating it with your overall marketing. You know, whether right. we're managing that for you or not, it has to fit in mind with, you know, what your goals are. Right, right. No, that, that's huge. Consistency is, is, is huge. You got to be, you know, you, you, you have to catch people's attention mm -hmm. constantly because there's so many messages right. out there. That, yeah. You know, if, 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 and I've noticed that even if you spend a couple of days without doing anything, you're just off the radar completely. Mm -hmm. It's, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's it's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. And um, I mean, look, we're in the trenches too. We're a small business, so we have to, you know, we can't just advise, you know, our clients on doing this. We got to do it too. And so we're learning, you know, I think that's what's so important for Light of Gold PR is when we do our consulting, it has to be from a place of, of authenticity and transparency. You know, you, you sometimes you work with a larger company and sometimes they get a little bit disconnected from how they typically should do marketing or maybe they miss some of the trends. But for right. us, we're like in the, the trenches, it's like, okay, we found out about this new tool, we're using it. We found out about this new trend, we're using right. it. You know, it's right. just like being on the ground along right. with our clients, you know, totally. And, and it's huge that. because you don't, you don't, it's huge to have a company like yours because you, you, you don't want to mess up, right? I mean, right. You, the information you throw out there, mm -hmm. you gotta be careful what you're throwing out there because once it goes out there, you can't pull it back. Yeah. You can't be like, oops. And then, you know, you know that, that, that's the perception people are going to get. Right. Which is similar to, to my company, you know, you know, people come to me because you don't want to mess up when it comes to the IRS. Once you right. send something, you can't say like, oops, sorry, let, let me right. do over. It doesn't work that way. Exactly. So exactly. It's important to hire, you know, for marketing and many other aspects, hire experts, people that right. really know what you're doing that can tell you, okay, let's throw this, this will probably be the appropriate thing to do. Mm -hmm. so that, you know, right, that's right. And, and it's always like when we work with our clients, it's always funny when they ask, well, can I do this myself? I'm like, well, yeah, you can, but why would you, you know? <laughs> you know, don't you have other things that you're, you know, especially if that's not your specialty, how many, no, how many right. hours are there in a the day? Look, we work with your company because our specialty is not accounting and bookkeeping and taxes. And we'd rather defer to you as the right, expert right. for that. And so, you know, this hand in hand, even working, you know, our partnership has been also to use your company for our bookkeeping and accounting and everything. And and also we're referral partners, which is really yeah. great. And that's exactly. always important, especially we're going into a brand new decade, right? Brand new decade. Crazy. New decade. Right. And and for me, partnership is just so critical. It, it always has been, but think about it. We're all trying to get to these goals, right? right. And no man's an island. So why try to do it by yourself? Right. Why? Right. <laughs> you know, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. It's like you said, only twenty four hours in a day. No, it's only twenty four hours, and you yeah. can only do so much. You can only right. Do so much, and 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 you know, it's it's you know, time is money, and mm -hmm. when you spend time doing something you not good at you're just you're you may not see it but you're wasting money you're really wasting money you're yeah just, you're wasting you're definitely. cheating yourself you're and, cheating and, yourself. Yeah, you're worth it. yourself and so i would be remiss if i did not share how we met i have to shout out adrian miller and adrian's network because this will be posted on the network or facebook <laughs> Perfect. I admire her energy. We love, we love you, Adrian, and, and everything that you do. 
and I uh, just want to make sure we shout shout you out, you know, on this on yeah on this video because that's how we met. You know, we're both members of Adrian's network, and so again, networking is the order of the day, right? Yep. Got to do it. Got to do it. So, um, Juan, what, what do you think is your greatest accomplishment with your company thus far? What's your greatest accomplishment? <laughs> it's a good question. Um, one of the greatest accomplishments, and I can't take full credit. I do have to. I do have to give my wife credit on this one. Awesome. Is um, that I, last year I was able to double my clientele, like literally, I doubled wow. my clientele. That's tremendous. And she was she was one of the big cheerleaders when it came to that. Awesome. Um, every every person and and, and then, you know I've always been consider myself a shy person. Mm -hmm. She's uh, she's more outgoing and she's yeah. like telling everybody that can listen what I do and then. And that's kind of rubbed off on me recently. Yeah, that's great. That's so, great. Um, Shout out to yeah. your wife. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, yes. And that's yeah. a good partnership for you. I mean, I think what sometimes we don't see for those of us who have spouses and partners, um, you know, my husband, Rick, you know, he said, I don't always understand what you're doing, but I support you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so. and you know I've, I've read a lot of books of like, you know, successful people. Mm -hmm. and, and and in those books, one thing I find I find similar in most of them is that they talk about, at one point or other, they talk about their wives. They talk about how their partner has right. there in mm -hmm. the tough times and the grind, mm -hmm. supporting them. And that, that's, that's huge. That's it is. Huge. It's huge because, you know, being an entrepreneur and a business owner, it's not an easy journey. No. It's not. And it's not. And if you have that support at home, you know, with your partner, with your spouse, it, it makes all the bit with your family. It makes yeah. all the difference in the world. It, 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 it yeah. makes a big impact. It really it does. does. It does. Uh, but yeah, but that's why I say is my biggest accomplishment to literally double my clientele last year. That was that was that was it, big. It, tell us about um, where your clientele is. You know, what parts of the country? You know, they. In Manhattan, New Jersey, where where would you say your clientele is located? I have I have clients New York, mm -hmm. New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Delaware, mm -hmm. and believe it or not, I have a couple clients in Idaho. Wow! Idaho. Wow, that's great. So you really have been able to not only double your clientele but also expand. Um, geographically, geographically right. which is huge. Yeah, that's right. great. So congratulations. Yeah, you know, thanks, kudos thanks. for that. That's good stuff. Good stuff. So why don't we talk about what was your biggest challenge with your company thus far? You know, just for other entrepreneurs and business owners who are listening, who will be listening in on this. What What do you think was your biggest challenge? My biggest challenge um, has been. Believe it or not, one of the one of the biggest challenges is how software companies market sometimes. Like they um, they market sometimes to make the business owner believe mm -hmm. that if buy my software and I will magically make everything happen for you, you don't need anybody else in this world. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. sometimes that 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 that's mis I feel it's misleading because mm -hmm. software is only as good as the person using it. I so agree. Yeah. If, if you don't sit down, and, and I use this with, with uh, people that talk to me about QuickBooks all the time, QuickBooks is an awesome software. I use it myself. Right. But right. if you don't sit down and, and actually look at it and analyze it where things need to go, right. QuickBooks will only take you so far. Yeah. That's just, that's that's just how it is. That's and, true. And, and, and that has been a challenge where, where people think that software is going to do magic for them. Yeah, yeah, and it's like a cure-all, and yeah, and it's not. Right, and, and it's yeah. not. It's mm -hmm. not. And, okay, and that's, that's yeah. Not but, yeah. you know, um, over time, you know, a lot of people are more, you know, more educated in terms of there's so much information online that, mm -hmm. you know, you can connect to more people and let them know that, hey, this is the reality the situation is. You, you have to do it. You can do it yourself. Mm -hmm. But it does require you to take time to do it. And, you know, it's a yeah. trade-off. Either trade your time or what are you doing? A lot of people understand that it's more important to, to save the time and, and do something else. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Wow. So, so yeah, that's, yeah, I could see that being an issue and a challenge. Um, so, what would you say 
uh, as far as like what you've been able to provide for your your clients. Let's talk about like if you could use like a scenario or if you can think of an example of what you've been able to help them resolve, like from a tax standpoint, you know, from a bookkeeping standpoint, you know, can you think of any examples off the top of your head? You know, how much you've been able to save a client, maybe, you know, 15,000, 20,000, 50,000, yeah. How much were you able to do for them? Can you think of an example? Yes, my, mm -hmm. my oldest client has been with me nine years, nine years out of the 11, he's been with me. Um, and when I first met him, he, he had taken out life insurance money, took out retirement money beforehand, got killed with penalties and all that stuff, early, early withdrawal penalties. And he actually, the first year I had prepared his taxes, he had to pay back about $15,000. And, and I was like, it was only my third year doing taxes, so I was freaked out. I was like, oh my God, I'm probably never going to see this person again. Not happy. But um, he stuck with me. And then going forward, um, I was able to always advise him on how to still do his, his strategies, how to still do what he was doing, but do it in a more tax favored way. Do, you know, do one thing versus the other, what he was doing. And then, you know, using the tax law, of course, to his advantage. And um, after the second year, from that point on, he's always received refunds, never had to pay any money back again without having to change what he was what he was doing he was just doing it the wrong way he didn't really know any better mm -hmm. um yeah but he's been with me for for nine years mm -hmm. and uh, he always he always tells that story how he first year he was just freaked out fifteen thousand, but then as time went on he listened to my advice mm -hmm. gave him some advice some tips and things like that and then going forward so from that point on he never from the second year on never mm -hmm. had to pay money back right wow yeah that's huge that's huge that was a very good example um i think um some of what we've talked about Juan, just in our conversations has been about uh people who wait to the last minute i mean it's like you know i can use myself as an, as an example if you have like some accounting issues bookkeeping issues tax issues um why wait until january or february you know it's like go ahead and reach out now to try to get all that um you know completed done resolved because waiting to to me it's just way more stressful to wait closer so you know, let's let's speak let's speak to that a little bit because i think in people's minds you know they're so focused on the holidays and you know oh well you know i can wait until january the january turns to february <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mark, you know, just let's talk a little bit about that. Why it's a smart idea to just, you know, reach out now. Well, I mean, I, I, I have a webinar coming up actually this Wednesday, mm -hmm. and it's about tips to, to, to be proactive for this mm -hmm. upcoming tax season. And even though tax time tends to be a three month period between February to April, for the most part, in terms of an individual side, yes. the preparation is year round. Because what you do in your personal life throughout the year will impact your taxes. Mm -hmm. Either if you move, if you change your jobs, you bought a car, yeah. sold the house, bought a house, yeah. got divorced, whatever the case, you know, whatever you do in your personal life throughout the year, just because you do it in July does not mean mm -hmm. that it won't affect your taxes. It does not mean that you should find out how it will impact your taxes mm -hmm. so you can get ready. And even with simple things, I mean, I've, I've had people that have told me, uh, let's say March comes around and I call them like, hey, are you ready to do your taxes? They, you know, they say no, because I changed my jobs and my old employer did not have my new address. So now I'm waiting to have them resend my W-2. Something even simple like that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, can delay the process, make things stressful for a person. So it's important, you know, to be, you know, year round, Mm -hmm. Consult with your accountant, whether it's me or anybody or any anybody else that has a different mm -hmm. account. Consult quarterly at least. You know, mm -hmm. Ask them, hey, did this happen? Or you know, nothing has happened yet. What should I look out for? Mm -hmm. Things like that. To mm -hmm. to that way, when January does hit, mm -hmm. uh, more beginning of February, depending on you know mm -hmm. the IRS mm -hmm. doesn't extend the time or whatever, mm -hmm. you're ready. 
right, right. It's, a, it's not as stressful as it right it's not as stressful so it's always good to be proactive when it comes to that i mean i can tell you from my standpoint when i started sending you everything i sent you i just felt like i was able to breathe another sigh of relief it's like you know it's like it's just sending over all this stuff so it's, it's one of those situations where you know if you could take that off of yourself where everything else that you have swirling around in your life you know to just like send that over you know then you don't have to think about it you could get it done you know it just makes sense and, then, and, it, and even even cost wise you save you money because you save see, money when you're when you pile up let's say for example five years of taxes Mm -hmm. It's going to be more expensive. And it's not necessarily because the account wants to take advantage of you or they know the situation. It's just that it's more work. And this is more work. Then obviously you have to pay more. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I bump into so many people that, that they come to me, oh, I'm five years behind. And I ask them, okay, well, why are you five years behind? Well, because I got a letter from the IRS saying I owe $30,000 mm -hmm. and they won't accept the payment plan until I get caught up on my taxes. Mm -hmm. So now, now you have all that mm -hmm. piled up as well. Right. Wow. Going forward. Yeah. So and now and now you're rushing. Now you, right. you know, now you have a deadline because the yeah. IRS is giving Very you a deadline. Stressful. Yeah. And then it just makes it that's what makes it makes it worse. That's what makes it worse. Absolutely. I totally agree with that. Totally agree with that. Well, Juan, thank you so much for being on this this you know video call with us. I feel like it's gonna help a lot of people. And Juan, go ahead and tell everybody what your website is. Oh, the website says moneymanbizsolutions.com. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like I said, we have a webinar coming up this Wednesday. I also do want to say, you know, want to let people know the importance of PR. You know, mm -hmm. you, you know, you're great at what you do. The importance of PR. You know, the com You know, what a company wants the public to know is huge. Mm -hmm. Their messaging and what they want to get out there, mm -hmm. and. That's why, you know, PR work is huge because mm -hmm. it, it makes an impact the kind of message that mm -hmm. people receive, especially yeah. this day and age. Um, you know, you can always retract things that you put on, but you can't really retract it. Right. That's it won't true. disappear from people's yeah. hands. That's true. You know, so, That's true. so it's mm -hmm. important that you have somebody like yourself and whoever's seen this, you know, I want them to really understand the importance that, that it is important to have a yeah. marketing expert, a PR person. Right. Um, that way that knows, that has a better idea of what is, what the right message should mm -hmm. be sent to the public. Right. Uh, in terms of how, how you want to be perceived. Exactly. Um, and, exactly. And that's, you know, that, that's huge. And, then, yeah. and actually even um, doing videos. I, I thank you for, for, for encouraging me to do videos. Because yeah. I don't trust me, I do, I do not. That's not my thing. Yeah, but all. you're doing really good. You're doing really good. I'm, I'm proud. Trying. Of you. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm proud yeah. of you. So it's almost like thinking outside the box. Um, uh, Might of Gold PR is, you know, besides the PR, uh, your image that Juan was talking about, it's also your whole marketing strategy, your whole picture. It's so many little moving parts and idiosyncrasies with all of this, you know using someone who can navigate that for you, a company that can navigate that for you, makes all the difference in the world. So we want to encourage you to consider marketing PR, you know, whether you work with me or not. Of course, I hope you would work with my full PR, but you, you never know. Some of you might already have a relationship, you know, with someone who get that, you know. But the thing is, to keep in mind, is that we work with other PR firms and marketing firms in collaboration because some of us have our own specialty. Right. I never look at anybody in my same field as competition, to be honest with you, because right. I know what I know. You know, I have 20, 25 years of experience, but other people have their own area of PR that they focus on. And right. a lot of times we work together. So just exactly. keep that in mind. You might find that maybe your PR person isn't great at digital or search engine optimization or websites. Think about, you know, partnering them with us. You know, just like Juan and I are partnering, you know, this is a great partnership because we are at two totally opposite spectrums of business. So this makes a really great collaboration and partnership. But even for Juan, you know, he may work with another accountant and bookkeeper because they focus right. on other things. Look, he does stuff in immigration services. Maybe right. you know an accountant or bookkeeper who does not provide that service. So think about, you know, both of our firms um, when it comes to collaboration, partnering up us maybe with your existing vendor, 
you know, or if you don't have anybody in place to help you with your bookkeeping taxes, accounting, or anybody to help you with your marketing, PR, digital, branding, you know, think about our company. Remember partnering is critical, 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 you know, why are you running and killing yourself trying to do everything yourself? When, when I can send him a client, we could do revenue shares, we partner, that, that's huge because that's yeah. a client, you know, yeah. he has to go, he didn't have to go after and then vice versa. He sends me a client, he actually prepped that person or that client for me and I'll prep somebody for him. Hey, I have somebody for you that could really help you with the bookkeeping and marketing. He does the same thing for me. Hey, I got somebody who I trust, who, who I vetted, who I can trust for your marketing. That yeah. alone is huge. Yes. And so that's another agreed. thing that we do. Agreed, agreed. Yeah, agreed. So we're going to roll off now. Thanks, everybody, for, for looking, checking us out, and looking at this video. We heard, hope you learned something today. We feel like it's great information. Um, we'll be posting this all, all over social media, also on our Light of Gold PR YouTube page, so you'll see it there probably within the next 24 to 48 hours. So you look for We're going to try to post it before that webinar so that you guys can go ahead and uh, yes, yes, that. Yes, That's yes, going to be yes. good. You know, so yes. we'll include um, Juan's link for the webinar. Um, we'll post that along with this. So make sure you check that out. All right, everybody. Have a great day. All right, Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.